For more on the challenges posed by these developments in Pakistan and Kyrgyzstan, as the U.S. presence in the region grows, we are joined by Patricia Di Gennaro. She's a specialist on Afghanistan and South Asia and an adjunct assistant professor of foreign policy at New York University's Center for Global Affairs. Thank you for being with us. Pleasure to be here. We've talked about this problem of the base closure in Kyrgyzstan. We've also talked about the supply problems of going from Pakistan to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. How serious are these two developments for the United States' effort? Well, right now it's very serious because we're talking about bringing in more troops. We've already had one brigade team go in, and we're talking about up to 30,000 troops going back in. So you want to make those, sure those troops are supported. You want to make sure the supplies are coming in from both sides. And right now we have these structures put in place, so we want to, want to ensure that they will continue. Well, say we, uh, we have a problem we know with Pakistan, mm -hmm. and Kyrgyzstan we lose. What are the other options? Well, the other options are very limited. Um, they are with Uzbekistan or Tajikistan or Turkmenistan, which all need to be worked. The supply routes through those particular countries need to be worked in association with Moscow. And it's quite cumbersome because they have to come through train and come through Kazakhstan and then down to the north of Afghanistan. So you're looking at that regional kind of map. And it's not just a route, we're also talking about a base you would need of some we're sort. We're talking about a base because most of the weapons are airlifted into Kabul. So you want to make sure you have that in place as well. But I mean, we have to look at our mission, we have to look at how we want to decide to do things. And right now, General Petraeus is looking for other options in the region. Do you think this is a problem that can be solved with diplomacy? Absolutely. Diplomacy, we have to use it. We've decided that this is one of the best tools in, in our, our national security toolbook, and, you know, it, it, we have to go forward with that. We have six months within to do that before they close the bases. Because the other word I left hanging on that equation is money here. I mean, right. is some of this a debate about how much these governments would like to get from the U.S.? Well, Moscow has offer, offered the at Kyrgyzstan basically to $2, two billion dollars to um, close, basically pay attention to them and close these bases. So the it US is absolutely is expected money, to what, 100%. Come back, the US come back come. with the counter offer. Uh -huh. They want them, yes, definitely. Yeah, Kyrgyzstan knows so, they're onto something here. Yes, Kyrgyzstan. I think everyone in the region is definitely is vying for some power. And they're vying, vying for in influence. It's been this way for quite some time in that region. So. Absolutely. Patricia DiGennaro, thank you very much for speaking with us today. Thank you.